I love studying mangroves and the mangrove ecosystem because I adore trees and I'm passionate about Florida ecology. My name is Malcolm Wells. I'm the future park leader of Emerging Change here stationed at the South Florida and Caribbean Inventory and Monitoring Network. Right now we're in Biscayne National Park uh, sampling one of our soil elevation tables in order to gain some insight as to how soil elevation might be changing over time here in Biscayne and at other national parks in South Florida and the Caribbean. 235. Right now we're slowly lowering uh, nine pins so that they uh, reach the soil and then we'll measure them from the top of the arm to the top of the pin to hopefully gain some insight as to how soil elevation might have changed here since the last time we surveyed. The South Florida National Parks and the Caribbean National Parks preserve these mangrove habitats, which are important worldwide. There's mangrove deforestation occurring. This impact of this community type is uh, compounded by a sea level rise that is um, affecting these uh, near shore communities and can affect seedling reproduction, which would prevent the trees from surviving long term. So the mangrove ecosystem is very important to the parks in South Florida and the Caribbean because it helps to dissipate some of the more negative impacts that happen from extreme weather conditions, particularly hurricanes. They also provide a valuable food source and habitat for a lot of the uh, natural flora and fauna here. Uh, that includes fish, they use it as nurseries, birds use it as a source of food, and they also nest there. One valuable aspect of this project that contributes to that is understanding exactly how these environments and ecosystems responded to Hurricane Irma recently. While there was extreme tree mortality in some places in the Virgin Islands, the data actually shows that the storm deposited soil in some places that are in danger to sea level rise, which is actually helping to counterbalance these negative effects of climate change. It's an important desire and goal for resource management to understand what is occurring in these systems. To monitor long term what is the trajectory of the elevation of the soil in the mangrove community and how that is compared to sea level rise. Are they staying in a step with sea level rise so that the mangroves, the seedlings can reproduce and survive? To 93. Okay. My internship so far it has been wonderful. It's been a very amazing experience getting intimately acquainted with the National Park Service and understanding the inner workings and how things get done. That's been a really invaluable experience. So it's always nice to have interns come to the office through the FPL program or other programs with the National Park Service. They uh, daily, they come in and they're excited. They're like puppy dogs. They want to do it all. They're excited to do all these things that you've been doing for years and years. And so it allows you to do your monitoring and to see it from a nice set of fresh eyes and be excited by what they're finding interesting each day that they come to work. Mm -hmm.